Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Daytona Beach, Florida. Hey, everyone. We're Eric and Paula. We've been professional triathletes for the past 10 years, swimming, biking, and running around the world and living our dream. This week, we want to take you with us as we go to Challenge Daytona in Daytona Beach, Florida, to show you some of our favorite spots and give you our perspective on the race in case you decide to go yourself someday. It was a hectic couple of days, but it was a lot of fun, and we're going to do our best to show it all to you. Here we go. So we got a hot tip to go to this YMCA in Ormond. Orman Family YMCA. <laughs> it was actually a great pool. They had four lanes reserved just for the triathlon people, and we were the only two triathlon people there. It was about 20 minutes away, and this was our first indication that you definitely need to have a car for this race. Well, you don't definitely. Don't die if you don't go swimming. And I'm pretty sure there's a swim brief swim briefing today. At the venue? Yeah. Alright, well as long as you show up the day before the race, you don't need a car. Yeah. But I would recommend because the thing that we did immediately after was go for a bike ride. And it was an absolutely beautiful bike ride. After that, we made a mad dash to go to Chipotle. Not because Chipotle is high dining. I want to show you guys cool stuff, but Chipotle just works. After Chipotle, we headed over to Evolve Chiropractic, one of the sponsors of the race, who had agreed to help Paula with some plantar fascia pain she'd had since last weekend. We could have hung out all day, but we had to get back to sign some race waivers, go for a run, get some dinner, so we could get to bed on time. Saturday was going to be a big day. Buttered pizza, picked it up. So pumped. Walked to pick it up. Well done, challenge. The... No. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. All right, without any further ado, let's do what we came here to do. Time gonna make her mind, gonna make her mind 
got to say, super impressed. My one thing would be though, if uh, I go back and get a cappuccino, I'll just specify that I get put in a smaller mug. Because as badass as those mugs were, a little bit, that was a lot of them. But into the whole, into the vibe. Somehow we have managed to do this entire day. We got one more obligation. Got to get this one to the pro press conference. Eric, to, Eric keeps getting not invited to the press conference. Hey, you know what? It's but then okay. He get, then he gets on the, I'll on get the a little, podium. I'll get stage fright, I say. Eric's gonna put the camera away now because we're driving. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Paula Finley. Yeah, I had a, a great race last weekend. I won my first race of the year, I guess. Um, it was, it's been a bit up and down. I was injured before that, so feeling confident coming into this, but also the quick turnaround, just five days in between the two races. All right, that's that. Um, we're supposed to go to a dinner tonight. Not totally positive if we will or not. It's um, just been such a long day. That press conference thing was an hour. We were there all day. And Oh, but you crushed it for the amount of time that I was there. Yeah, uh, I left. We are really excited about racing tomorrow. The first thing that we're gonna do in the morning, is super cool thing that we're gonna do, racing a pro-am relay. So we've got two age groupers on our team. They're doing a bike and a run. We're just swimming for them. So I think that's probably next time we'll see you. And then we'll just check in with you post-race. You guys all set to go? Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess. Alright, Pro-Am Relay is a wrap. It happened. We found this guy again. He uh, saved me. <laughs> I was going to be walking home. <laughs> um, did your relay, were you the head to fastest relay of anybody in the car? Uh, Maybe, yeah, by yeah. like a tiny bit. I yeah. think I won I won out of the car. T but, team TC yeah. Reed for yeah. the win. The Wolf, the Wolf Pack won. <laughs> or my team beat Paul's team by like a minute, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was close. It all came down to the runner. My bike yeah. was pretty... My biker was solid. And she has the same bike color as me, a Trek Ooh. Miami green bike, just insane. It was meant to be. It was meant to be. <laughs> that's why she bid so much. <laughs> yeah, that's why she bid on me. Magic right. bikes. We'll see you guys after the race. Catch that camera before it falls off. <laughs> Morning everybody. We are in Daytona Beach, so we decided what better spot to do this than at the actual beach. Things were going really well for me. Led the first lap of the swim. Sat on uh, Kieran Linder's feet for the second lap of the swim. Felt pretty chill. Jumped on the bike first out of T1 and I think I just had a little bit too exuberant of a flying mount or something and I loosened a clamping bolt on my seat post and every time I would hit even the slightest little bit of undulation in the road for the next lap my post was slipping, slipping, slipping. So I think I lost like an inch and a half in, in one lap. I was screaming for some neutral support, for an Allen key from anyone. I I'll check, I'll check, I'll check. The other guy. I got off my bike at one point, lifted the seat post up, tried to reset it, stuck my race sticker in there to try and keep it from falling. Three whole laps went by and got no help, and it just kept falling. So that was the end of my day. The most frustrating thing for me was just that I felt really good. I felt prepared. I would, had set up the race the way I wanted to. I had the gap on the, out of the water, you know, to Lionel and uh, Starkwitz, and and then just kind of have it ripped away in in such a silly way. It's just so frustrating. That's that. Otherwise, had a had a pretty good time here in Daytona Beach. What My turn. <laughs> well, I won the race, which is kind of crazy. I definitely didn't expect that. 
Uh, Lucy Charles was here, uh, Lisa Norton was here, like a really good field. I wanted to podium, but wasn't sure how my body would hold up after last weekend. So I had a pretty good swim. Obviously, Lucy was over a minute ahead of us out of the water, but I came out with Lisa, who's a super world-class time trialist, so I thought if I could stick anywhere near to her, we may have a chance of uh, catching Lucy, but totally wasn't sure. Um, riding around that course was crazy. We did 15 laps of the Daytona uh, Speedway, which is about a 2.5 mile loop. So there were lap counters for us, so we didn't lose track, but it was definitely a long 15 laps. Uh, and it got dark, they turned the lights on. It was just like an incredible experience. We ended up catching Lucy about halfway through that rode all three of us together and I knew both of them are really good runners so I thought um, we'd probably end up running together for a lot of it and I wasn't confident I'd be able to hold on but came off the bike opted to not wear socks because it's only a 13k run and done a plenty of Olympic distances without socks and I knew it was a close race so I didn't want to spend 20 extra seconds messing around in transition. Ran out with Lucy and we pretty much ran side by side for the first four miles uh, actually right as Lionel was flying past me on his last lap, I sort of did a bit of a surge, not thinking I could race with Lionel or anything, but just uh, he was going so fast, I can't, I can't explain. <laughs> so that's kind of where I put a bit of a gap on Lucy and I felt so good on the run. I don't understand how I am running so well right now based on my lack of run training, but I think just lots of like years and miles in my legs and uh, proper recovery and everything between the races and I surprised myself didn't know till the end that I had it I thought Lucy might chase me down but uh, crossed the line first which was incredible so good way to end the season and then I learned that Eric didn't finish so that is always a bummer but he had a good race last weekend so <laughs> can't be too sad I can be pretty sad I'm I'm actually in a pretty good mood because uh, it is now the off season we're gonna set a new standard for fun in the off season, obviously. Got a lot of good stuff to look forward to next year. And it was a fun trip, so thanks Challenge for putting this race on. Thanks Daytona Beach for hosting everyone, letting us race on the Speedway. That's really cool, not an experience you get to have very often, so. Slash never. Slash never. Yeah. yeah. Congrats to everyone who raced and finished. Uh, it was a tough race. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching. It means a lot. I think the next time we'll see you will be after Christmas. We'll be back on the Sunday upload routine, so have a Merry Christmas from Merry Daytona Christmas. Beach. <laughs>